Maybe this wasn't the best plan. Superheroes are supposed to save people, not kidnap them. I should probably get Dr. Saltzman down here. Though he'll ask why we're keeping Finch out here in the barn of the family you're staying with. But you haven't told him yet? Well, I was worried if I told him I didn't compel your memories away, our days of superhero team-up would be over. Okay, look, I need you. Just put on your secret identity, right? Go to school and act normal while I deal with this. The blur in man, I gotta take a day off. Fine. I will sign off on Lane Low, but not the superhero names. What? Um, um, E. Money. Hmm. E. Commerce, right? I'll think of some better ones in geometry class. <laughs> Invisible. Lizzie, how how long have you long enough to know that you've been playing dress up with a muggle? Can't yes, explain. I didn't want to lie to your dad, but the only other choice was wiping Ethan's mind. Okay, you can stop. I'm not here to bust up your bromance. The truth is, I need your help. Turns out Josie has a serious crush on this she wolf. You should probably just be happy for. Her. That would be premature, because Finch has obviously already activated her curse. So she's killed someone. Maybe it was an accident. Or maybe... I didn't kill anyone. And I chain myself up every full moon, so I don't. You must have. It's half the requirement to become a werewolf. The other half is genetic. So, like, being able to do this. Which means that your parents or grandparents were wolves, too. I always thought I was the only one. I mean, how do you even know that? And how did you make yourself invisible last night? Post an Eva Sparrow, Lucem. I'm a witch. But I like to think of myself as Josie's sister, first and foremost. At least I know where Joe's damage comes from now. Okay, my sister has terrible taste in women as it is, but there's no way that I'm letting her near a cold-blooded killer. Whoa. Easy, Lizzie. We don't know that. I didn't kill anyone. Well, I'm gonna need you to prove it. 